I've never done anything like this video before, um, but I just kind of felt the need to. If you watched my last um, video, it was a pregnancy vlog. Um, I think that video took me all the way up until I was about 17 weeks. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I did lose that baby at about 20 weeks. So um, I'm no longer pregnant. I've gotten past the depression that I was in and um, I'm not ready to make a video on um, on like what happened and stuff like that yet but I do want to touch on antepartum depression or depression during pregnancy okay so I'll just get right into it um I got pregnant June like June 1st or 2nd or something like that almost right away within the month of June I knew something was up emotionally I've never been um, a sad person I've always been pretty um, upbeat and very like clear-minded never ever ever experienced any type of depression before nothing even close to it and then all of a sudden um, just intense feelings of sadness and like weird like I felt I, the only word I can think to describe it is sorrow and I had no idea why like why there was absolutely no reason right so I knew something was up and obviously I just thought it was hormones, like duh, I'm pregnant, and for a while I just kind of took it as I'm so dramatic and so emotional and I need to get over it. Um, I started looking into it, and then that's kind of when I realized it actually was depression. Um, there was just full days where I just... Ugh, hold on. There was just full days where I spent laying down on the couch like it would be... 1 p.m. and I'd realized my kids hadn't even eaten yet that day. Well, okay, it's just gonna be that kind of video, I guess. Never, whatever. Okay, so full days I'd spend just so sad and so you just can't like feel no reason to do anything but just lay there. I haven't felt that type of sadness even when like there have been deaths or and stuff like really really dr traumatic things I felt like worse during this depression than I had even in those times in my life um, I also felt really sorry I'm trying to dry my eyeballs I also felt really like slow like life was moving so I don't know I can't explain it I like I wrote down the symptoms that I felt just so I could remember them and just slow I just felt slow physically mentally everything was just slow I can't really explain it any other way the other symptoms I had I was so sleepy I just felt like I couldn't get out of bed I couldn't get off the couch um, no matter how early I would go to bed I would just wake up at like noon I'd hear my kids get up and then go downstairs and go play while they're just waiting for me and I'd just be in bed it was just really really bad and then I'd take like two or three naps during the day I'd just fall asleep I'd just be laying there and then I'd wake up and it would be dark outside and then on top of that, I was sick because I was pregnant. And I was very, very, very nauseous. Not to the point that I would throw up. If you watched my pregnancy vlog, I kind of talked about how sick I was and um, like really nothing would help. So that just added to it. That's probably, again, why I felt the need to sleep all the time because it did. I did feel better when I was laying down, um, closing my eyes. But so all just all these things just kind of on top of each other. It was a really, really rough time. It got so bad to where I had to pull Jace out of kindergarten um he started school in the end of August he was only in school for like two weeks before I just realized I couldn't getting him there on time for one thing and getting just getting schoolwork done and and he had to wear a uniform it was just so overwhelming on top of all of these things that I had going on like I had to pull him out. That was a, a really, really low point for me. Actually walking into his school and withdrawing him, I felt like such a failure. Like his school only allowed for nine absences for the whole year before they asked you to find a new school. I guess there's just a big waiting list, you know, and so they don't want kids who are gonna miss all the time. We had already missed like four days um, because my son had an accident over Labor Day weekend where he fell in a fire pit. It was bad. Um, so he missed already four days in the first two weeks of school. 
And I knew, I knew that over the course of the pregnancy, I obviously thought that the pregnancy would last until February. Um, I just knew that I wouldn't, he would miss, he would miss school. I did not want him to make like these best friends and love, start to love school so much and then I'd have to pull him out be, and switch schools because me as a parent couldn't, couldn't snap out of this depression and just get him to school. So I pulled him out. We have been homeschooling now since then and it's actually awesome. I just wanted to share that to show you how my everybody's in my household's lives were pretty greatly affected by how um, by this antepartum depression. So yeah, it did get to that point. Um, there would be, when my husband went out of town, I remember there was a period of three days where I, we, me and my two boys, did not leave the house. Like, that makes me so sad to think that they were cooped up here, just watching movies and playing with toys and eating whatever food we happened to have here. Like, because I couldn't function as a mom as a f human <sighs> another thing that happened um was this insane amount of hair loss i have always had a lot of hair and out of nowhere over the past like, like i would say from starting in maybe july and even still now i have had this weird amount of hair loss and it honestly scared me i looked into it I didn't see many things on hair loss caused by depression, but hair loss can be caused by stress. Obviously there was crazy amounts of stress um, that came with the depression and the sickness and the pregnancy, just everything. So obviously I was very stressed. So I don't know if the hair loss was a direct cause of the depression, um, but I mean, I've never had hair loss before, I've never had depression before, and all of a sudden they both hit at once. So I kind of chalk it up to the depression and I blame that. Uh, I need to get my hair redone, but I'm like scared to go get it done because I feel like any more damage and it'll all just come out. Like when I would part my hair, you'd never be able to see through to my scalp like like you can all through, all through these areas. Like, so it's so weird to just like look at my head and see my scalp because you, you probably won't be able to tell. Oh, maybe there. I just felt like that was confirmation that it's way more than just a mental thing, you know? That it's, it's having physical um, side effects. That was a huge bummer, but it's whatever, you know? Something I sh maybe could have looked into more was actually um, talking to my doctor and and seeing what options I had, like medications wise. Um, I know there's always side effects of things, so I was just kind of wary about that. I didn't want to mess with it really. I don't wish I would have gotten medicated for it, but I kind of wish I knew what, what difference it would have made, you know? Looking back on it now, I just, there's all these things I wish I could have done, like just gotten up out of bed and made breakfast, lunch, and dinner and done fun things with my kids and and I don't know, just been a better mother, a better, <clears throat> a better wife. But in the moment, but in the moment, there's just this overwhelming feeling that you can't. The only people who will understand <laughs> what I'm talking about are people who've experienced it. Ugh. I am the ugliest crier, so I'm trying to really hold it in because it's like really ugly. <laughs> I can look back now and wish that I did, could, could would have just snapped myself out of it, like slapped myself in the face and just been there mentally for my kids, my husband. So it's really hard for me to accept the fact that that's just how depression works. Um, there's n there's nothing like the feeling of when you're actually in like like engulfed in this depression i keep thinking why didn't i just get up why didn't i just like fake it till i make it you know but it's just not how it works and that's really all i can do to explain it i'm going to talk about now um about the things that i did and i only started doing this at like 18 weeks so I really only had like two weeks 
before I lost the baby. Um, so I only had like two weeks of, of these, um, of practicing these things that really did help the depression. But for those two weeks, it was amazing, like the differences that they made. So <clears throat> I'll just get into that now. This is just things that I did. I just looked online like what you can do. Um, so I just, I mean, you could just type it in like depression and how to help, you know? The number one thing that I saw online <clears throat> was exercise. And I was just like, for real, because that has been such a struggle. Like my weight has been like the biggest struggle for me. So obviously I needed to exercise, but when I was that sleepy and sad and sick, it was hard, you know, to just be like, okay, well, I'm going to go do my 30 minute jog outside. Like it just wasn't happening. I remember it was a, a Monday when I decided to start this. And that Monday I was staying at my mom's house because my husband was out of town and she's got this, it's like a Stairmaster, a stair climber and an elliptical in one. I did that for 30 minutes that morning. And I was just like, it, it wasn't hard. My the kids were just playing, it wasn't hard, I just made myself do it. And I cannot explain to you this feeling of relief that I had the rest of the day. It was like, it, I felt almost normal. And it was just like, really? I was almost mad, like that's all it took. <laughs> just move my body for like 30 minutes and I can feel normal again. And so I wasn't sure if that was all just in my mind. Um, we all know exercising makes you feel better, but there's this, there's a science behind it. I could have looked it up before I started filming, but I didn't, but something about the endorphins that are released when you, when you exercise and you get your heart rate up, something about that helps balance out something up here. I don't know. You can look it up. I could have just been totally wrong, but it seriously worked. So I did it again and I did it the entire week, Monday through Saturday. And every day I felt almost normal. I would still have little breakdowns during the day were better than it would have what it had been for the first 17 18 weeks I guess of that pregnancy I would just cry by myself in my bed for just hours like why like what a waste of my life um, but I just honestly felt like there was nothing I could do so Monday through Saturday I exercised every morning sometimes it was only 15 minutes but it was exercise okay it was way better than nothing 15 20 minutes and that even that helped my day Come to Sunday. Sunday is my day of rest, and I was like, okay, I'll be fine. That Sunday, it was just like a, a flood of it all just came back. Um, just the sadness again, this sorrow and slow, I can't explain it, but it just came rushing back. And that's right then is when I knew that the exercise thing was no joke. Try it. If you are feeling depressed, go get your heart rate up for half an hour and see if it does for you what it did for me. Dang it, I don't know where that just cut off, but I was having a full on heart to heart and then I look and it wasn't recording, so that's cool. So I think I left off on the fact that um, I wish I would have talked to someone. I feel like um, talking just telling my husband and my parents and my doctor and even telling my kids, I really wish I would have told them um, what was going on. I feel like I wouldn't have felt so self-conscious about the fact that on the outside, people looking at me, I just looked like a horrible mom. Or that's how I felt, you know? I wish I would have talked to someone so that I could have been more comfortable. Um, in, with the knowledge that they understood what was going on. Ew, I can't cry. Ew. Okay. If I would have just had that knowledge that they they knew what was happening, um, I feel like I would have um, done a lot better emotionally because that really did take a toll on me. Um, besides talking to my husband and my parents, briefly like I I didn't mention it I didn't go into any detail all I said would say was I was sad um, I did turn to prayer a lot like a lot so much I'm just trying to say that if you have nobody to talk to even though I did I just me as a person I um I just like 
refuse to talk to people about anything. I don't know why. I did turn to prayer and that I think helped me daily, like hourly, when I would need it. If you can't open up to people or you don't have anyone to open up to, I just hope you can turn to whoever or whatever it is that you believe in and, and talk to them. Because I prayed and, oh my gosh. I can't, I don't, I didn't want to turn it into that type of video, but that really, really did help me. So, I mean, I'm just, I just wanted to cover all the things that I did. So those are the things that I did to help. I exercised, I got a good sleeping schedule, um, and I prayed a whole lot. And if you aren't the type of person who prays, just talk to someone. Get it out there to someone who you trust and can confide in, um, because it just, it lifts a little bit of, of the, um, of the sadness when you talk to somebody whether it be a person a loved one or to god or whoever whatever okay all right well this was that kind of video i guess I'm taking my kids to go see the movie trolls right now so let me fix all of this redness now i'm curious to know if any of you have ever experienced um depression during pregnancy I don't know, it's just, I, I wonder how many women it affects because I, I don't know anybody who who has been depressed during pregnancy and this was my sixth pregnancy and I'd never felt it in my other five. I was completely taken off guard, had no idea how to handle it, so hopefully um, this video helped some of you. Thank you so much for watching, I um, hope you guys learned something or I hope it helped somebody out there, so thank you.